peace. Today is November 9th, and it is the morning after our presidential election. Donald Trump just got elected, and I wanted to take a moment and share some insight on that election, as well as what we can do individually and collectively moving forward. The first thing I wanted to bring to your attention is back on August 29, 2015, I published an article called Trumpla Political Reality TV. Now, that article I'm putting in the description of this video so you can go there and read it for yourself. But I predicted the trajectory of this candidate based upon the popularity I saw Donald Trump having in terms of pop culture for a very long time and how this was a very different political landscape than what we've ever seen before. And I saw the similarity in his campaign to the Morton Downey Jr. show. Now, those of you who are not familiar with the Morton Downey Jr. show, um, I encourage you to go on YouTube, put in Morton Downey Jr. show, and you'll see exactly what I was talking about in this article because Morton Downey Jr. set a precedence in terms of ratchet TV. Um, he was the morning star, the forerunner of reality TV that we see as the norm today. But he was doing that way back in the 80s, smoking on TV, cursing, and everything else. And he set the precedence in terms of what we see as the norm now. I saw the same thing going on with the campaign of Donald Trump in terms of the political landscape. And like I said, it's something that I predicted back on August the 29th, 2015. Um, so go check that out so that you can get some insight into some of the predictions that I made way back then. Um, secondly, I think that as Generation X, my generation, we are in a position to really see the test of what we believe and know God to be more than anything that we've experienced before in our lives. Now, those of us who are this Generation X, we lived through the Reagan era, so we were not really at an age to critically, critically analyze and assess what was going on with the policies during that time of the Reagan administration. But now that we've lived through it, and in hindsight being 2020, we could assess some of the policies and the stuff that happened during that time. But now we are in a position moving forward to have that experience and that critical analysis and assessment of some of the same potential policies that we saw during that time being implemented through the presidency of Donald Trump with the control that the Republicans have in the House of Representatives and the Senate. So as Generation X, we are in a position to help guide the millennials, our other peers, as well as Generation Alpha, which are the preschoolers that I'm, I'm getting ready to go teach. <laughs> So we're in a position and that is really ultimately going to be based upon putting to test our belief and knowledge of God. Because a lot of us are upset about this election, not because we put confidence and belief or faith in what we, be, you know, our belief or knowledge of God. A lot of us are upset because we put weight and confidence in man and woman and in government. So we feel some kind of way because things didn't go our way in terms of the person, the men and the women and the government that we were putting faith into. But if we were rightly guided and continued to follow the path of what we believe and know God to be, we wouldn't have those same type of feelings and attachments. A lot of us have a very dysfunctional relationship with America. And I think that now we're at a point where we can really honestly look at that and say, you know, we need to move forward. We don't need to have these same type of attachments to a relationship that's not working for us. And I'm not talking about denouncing your citizenry and nothing like that. I'm just talking about looking at a, 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 a domestically violent relationship and saying, you know what? I need to work on myself. I need to get with those who are more positive. I need to change the people, places, and the things around me to actually evolve as a person and to work on myself instead of relying on someone that is not doing me right. And I think that a lot of us are awakened to that reality right now. There's no other way to look at that. So we have to cease putting confidence in man and woman and really start considering, do we really believe and know God as what we say that we do? Because if that is true in that reality, we wouldn't really have these same type of feelings tied into Something that did not change the sun coming up this morning. It didn't change that. Obviously, on a political 
level, there's going to be some policy changes that we're going to see on a national, regional, and local level. But how are we going to deal with that? Do you really have confidence and faith in your belief and knowledge of God to help rightly guide you through these circumstances and situations that we're going to potentially see? Because that's my foundation. My foundation is in the knowledge, what I know. And what I know is I need to have more confidence and faith within myself and to connect with those other people who are taking responsibility on a regional, local level to control what is going to go on or not going to go on in our counties and in our cities. Because that is ultimately what it's going to come down to. So I will, this was inspiring, empowering, and was educating and gave those of you some of my perspective on you know, this election. We really have to look within ourselves and look towards each other of what we are and aren't going to do in terms of collective work and responsibility and being ambassadors for our millennial and alpha generation. A lot of them may be potentially growing up in a Reagan era. <laughs> in the same way that some of our baby boomers and traditionalist generations may have not have been equipped to be able to help rightly guide some of us who were growing up in that Reagan era, we should be in a better position now to help rightly guide our younger generations through not this Reagan era, but through this Trump era. And that's ultimately what it goes down to. And like I said, we have to ask ourselves, do we really have confidence in what we believe and know God to be? And if we do, what can trump that? Peace.